The year 1993. The world's first Got Milk ad just aired and took the nation by storm. Got Milk. That Christmas, talk boys were sold out. So I couldn't get one for Christmas and tricked my dumbass family into thinking that I was an older man. We had the original Doom. And for all of you who weren't uh, who uh, weren't into uh, demon uh, slaying, we also had mist. My body was going through changes, and I set a personal re best record that year of involuntary erections. And as the year crept on, they became even more involuntary and even more powerful, more powerful than I could ever imagine. Blossom hats were in in a big way. And also, Jurassic Park was released to theaters. To all the theaters. Today we're talking about uh, Jurassic Park. Is that good for intro? Now there's a lot of things that Jurassic Park did well and did great. A lot of people say the CG was outstanding, which it was. You wanna talk about computers? Let's talk about computers. Let's talk a little bit about CGI. And this CGI was killer. We're going to use the magic of computers to recreate these dinosaurs. And I tell you what, if you look at them now compared to like other stuff from now, so you take that stuff from then and compare it to now, you'd be hard pressed to be like, oh, those are really, those are bad dinosaurs and these are good dinosaurs. Those dinosaurs were amazing back then. And why? That was 25 years ago. Why? I don't know. Why did I, why did I hold on to my V card for so long? We also don't have these answers. They use, they use these little stop motion dinosaurs to help them animate the actual dinosaurs. Of course they did. It was essentially a stop motion armature, something the animators were very familiar with. The input device- And we can't talk about this movie Ooh. if we don't talk about the soundtrack. Ah. The soundtrack to this movie is amazing. soundtrack to the movie starts off like soft and romantic. And it gives a sense of being more intimate, maybe being one-to-one -one with a dinosaur, you know, right in front of you and you're caressing it or something like that, like in a scene like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like puppy love flirty, like, oh my God. And then I love how it goes back to the piano, but with elements of the strings that have, you know, accompanied us along this big journey. Kind of makes you want to snuggle, you know? It's kind of snuggly sounding. But then, we're just, but then there's like the gates and it's like, bum, 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 bum. I honestly, I owned the CD. And I used to take it to school with me and listen to it at school. That's what I'm talking about. These are Johnny Facts. And of course, the music was made by none other than the amazing John Williams. Round of applause. Thank you, John, for all your amazing songs and joys. Dick. Lasagna, dick. Lasagna. We got toys, 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 toys. Uh-uh. We got, they had the craziest toys. Dino damage all day long. Let's get, let's get that dino damage. Let's take that dino damage. Uh, that dino damage, baby. Uh, yeah. There was a little battle damage pop out the side. I still remember what it smells like. Perfection. It smelled like perfection. That's what it smelled like. I think I'm gonna try to buy the Stomp and Strike Rex still. Dinosaurs were birds. Dinosaurs turned into birds. Ellie, get you got to bring her out of space. She ruins she ruins Star Wars. You put her into a Star Wars movie, and all of a sudden, Star Wars turns into a. Uh, what am I looking? What's the word I'm looking for? That is one big pile of shit. Thank you, Jeff Goldblum. Chris Pratt's a super studly space stud, right? Get him up in space. He doesn't need to be fighting dinosaurs. He needs to be, he needs to be hanging out with the tree, with the tree. They have business with the orcs. With Groot. Guys, thank you. If you made it this this far, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment. Uh, uh, comment anything.
Comments apparently way more than anything else, and I'm, I would love to be able to do this for a living. Um, so yeah, let me know what your favorite dinosaur is, what your favorite space thing is, or what your favorite color is. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I replied to all my comments, so uh, yeah, let's get chatting. But yeah, thank you for watching this far. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs>